Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy, your home for hints, tips, how-tos, and product reviews, and so much more when you're just trying to survive on a budget. Once again, it's time for another product review. This time, it's the tea infusers I got off of Amazon. Now, if you're thinking, the fat guy drinks tea, no, fat guy doesn't. But I got these to make coffee when I was camping because that eight cup percolating coffee pot made a bit of a mess and somebody suggested trying these to make coffee with I forget your name but for whoever suggested it thank you if you want to learn more about this I'll be right back Okay, welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Uh, as I was saying, I got these tea infusers off of Amazon. Both of them you had to buy two pieces that were $4.99. Like I said, I got these because my uh, percolating coffee pot that I got made a bit of a mess. Here's a quick clip of that. I don't know if you can see that, but coffee got splattered all over the place. You can see where the coffee grounds came through. So... Uh, I don't know. I might have to get bigger grinds. Okay, I'll have a, a link to the full video down in the description box. Like I said, a viewer whose name I can't remember suggested trying these. They had a bunch of different ones. I just went with these. Um, I first noticed that this one's kind of dented. As you can see, it has a dent in it. But for the pair of them, was $4.99. I came right out. Well, for the most part, it came right out. But what I'm going to try to do is put coffee in these. Just one. And see how it does. Now some of you are probably saying, why don't you just drink instant coffee? Well, i got to be honest, I just don't like the taste of instant coffee. There we go. I was going to use that spoon to scoop the coffee out. Now I got 8 ounces, I'm sorry, I got 16 ounces of water, or 2 cups, however you want to say it. Huh? Coffee grounds went all over the place. As you can see, the coffee grounds are on the outside. So this definitely ain't going to work to make coffee. It's just making a big mess. So I'm going to have to call this one a fail. Um, I could go out and get some different grounds, but I don't want to pay a whole bunch extra for the coffee. I do have ideas for tea, different natural teas I want to make and show you guys. I mean, if you want to check these out for something, I never even knew they existed. I'm kind of disappointed it didn't work for the coffee, but it is what it is. Because it looks like if the grounds were bigger, it would actually work a lot better.
and this one just fell apart. Yeah, I got it back together, but if you notice, there's a gap in between the seams. So you, you definitely need something bigger. But we'll try it this spring when spring rolls around again with some uh, homemade, all natural tea. See how they work. Right now, I'm not really impressed by them. Like I said, this one kind of fell apart. Okay, I went ahead and tried to wash this out after using it the first time. And as you can see, it kind of fell apart completely. I'm not sure if I can fix it or not. I'm going to give it a try. And it's going to keep falling apart. So, I mean... If I was you and you're interested in doing something like this, I'd probably shop around, try to find something a little bit better. A little better constructed. I expect a lot more for five bucks. But the, all can't be winners on Amazon. You know, you're going to get winners and losers. This so happens to be a loser. I think I'll just keep trying to mess around with that coffee pot. Um, I'll have a link to these. In the coffee pot down below. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button up here at the channel logo. And as always, thank you for watching.